that you In July of 2011, Supergiant Games released the critical and gamer hit Bastion. It is now almost three years later and their second game Transistor aims to impress. And it does. Like its predecessor, Transistor uses an isometric view and contains a narrator, your sword known as Transistor. You play as Red, a lounge singer in Cloud Bank who has lost her voice, but you don't know why and that's part of the reason on why you will keep playing the game. You start in the middle of the action and throughout the game you unlock pieces of the storyline up until the end. If for some reason you could care less about the story, then you'll have a blast with the combat in and of itself. The transistor gives you the ability to freeze time and plan your course of attack against enemies known as the process. This is where the game shines because you will feel a great sense of satisfaction after you release your attacks. Your attack varies as you can mix around skills and experiment with different combinations. For example, you can take a simple attack and pair it with another skill you gain as you level up. The abilities can be used as an active ability, an upgrade, or a passive ability. These are four different attacks and ability slots, so you can consistently experiment to see what works best for you as a player. Some of the skills come in the form of souls of bodies you discover along the way. While Transistor doesn't really spell out the plot of the story until the end, the new souls you attain have their own interesting backstory so that you can read at the upgrade screen that helps you with the lore of the game. These stories can be tragic at times, and remind me a lot of their role-playing game Lost Odyssey for the 360, the option to read about the lives of the deceased. Said she left for personal reasons. When you speak, I hear silence. The look of Transistor is beautiful as it is eerie at times. The city is reminiscent of Blade Runner, but a bit more colorful. But those colors are sometimes diluted to go with the feel of the narrative. Cloud Bank is a place you want to see more of and makes you wish that the game was longer. However, there is a Game Plus mode that invites you to come back with all of your abilities still intact but at a much harder go-through. In the end, Transistor is the action RPG that one would expect from Supergiant Games. And that's not a bad thing. They've created a story, setting, and soundtrack that keeps you captivated to the end. The end seems to come suddenly, and the overall plot is thrown at you rather quickly for you to enjoy. Regardless, it is a journey that will make you dread the final moments of the story. I give Transistor a 9 out of 10.